Hello again, welcome. We're going to continue in a very sequential way this whole masterclass on leadership. One thing will follow the other. They're all interconnected. And this tape is specifically to do with the balances of authority and friendship. To be the two as a leader, to have the authority and to have the friendship. This is an item which is very, very important to solidifying your place as a leader, but as a true leader. It's very important to be a people's person, but to still be authoritative. The authority comes from knowing what you're talking about. The friendship comes from loving people, learning to love them. Because I tell you honestly, friends, there's no business of being a leader if a person doesn't love people. Now, people are your greatest assets. And you've got to understand that their psychology needs both. They need somebody who is authoritative, but at the same time, someone who's friend they can talk to. And it's very important for the leader to blend the two and not go overboard with one or the other, but make it, make it a good balance. So the first point is this, is think about it. Where are your balances today? Are you authoritative and a friend? And if yes, how does it show up? I want you to write these two points. As you finish this tape, sit down and think to yourself, am I an authoritative leader? Am I a friendly leader? Am I both? How do these two points show up in my leadership style? Now, this is to do very much with being the CEO of your own life because you will find that being authoritative and being friendly will come from how you are in your life. Can you tell people that they're doing well with something? And can you be authoritative about what they need to, to do at the same time? Can you do both? And what I'd like you to do is the third aspect of this tape is when you deal with people in your organization or forever, give, or, or somewhere else, sorry, give them a feedback, positive feedback, and also ask them to do something with authority. Make sure that the two blend together. Now, this is a bit out of the box, maybe, what I'm saying, but it's so important because oftentimes I find in the seminars that I do around the world that people can become either over friendly and therefore they lose their respect of their uh, workforce or they become over authoritative, in which case everybody's afraid from them and there is no initiative and people are not creative. I want you to think about these two aspects and apply them into your toolkit as a successful leader. This is Ellie signing off. Thank you.